Since the start of the conflict, we have seen... Amnesty International says that atrocities and human rights violations committed during the conflict between the federal Ethiopian government and Tigran separatists amounts to severe human rights violations and war crimes. <laughs> Fise Hateko, Amnesty International's researcher for the region, blames the crimes on all parties while adding that there is no innocent party which has not committed human rights violations. There is no innocent party which has not committed human rights violations in this conflict. All of them. So when I'm saying all the parties to the conflict, the Ethiopian National Defense Force, the Eritrean uh, Defense Forces, the Tigrayan Forces, the Amhara Special Force, the Amhara Fano Militia, all of them they have committed serious human rights violations, including rape and sexual violence. Extrajudicial killings and massacres by all sides have been documented throughout the conflict in the northern Ethiopia. An initial report released last month by the United Nations International Commission of Human Rights on Ethiopia, which was formed in December 2021 to investigate abuses during the war, concluded that there were reasonable grounds to believe that parties to the conflict had committed war crimes and human rights abuses, including extrajudicial killings, sexual violence and airstrikes on civilians. The Ethiopian government and the Tigran forces are currently holding peace talks in Pretoria, South Africa, to find a peaceful and lasting solution to the conflict that has been ravaging northern Ethiopia for nearly two years. Last week, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said the war would end and peace will prevail. The Tigran People's Liberation Front, TPLF, and the Federal Ethiopian Army, backed by forces from neighboring Eritrea, have been fighting since November 2020 in a deadly conflict that has plunged northern Ethiopia into a serious humanitarian crisis. The war has displaced more than 2 million Ethiopians and plunged hundreds of thousands into near-starvation conditions, according to the United Nations.